Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part and welcome to my summer home hacks. Some of these I have been doing for years and some of them I've started this summer, but all of them are so helpful. So I wanted to share them with all of you. If you're new here, go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below. Click the bell and click all notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. But now let's go ahead and jump straight into today's video. Okay, so two things that I despise most <laughs> about summertime are the extreme like heat and high temperatures and bugs. So we're gonna be addressing a lot of things, but those are the two main topics. The bug I'm most terrified of is a wasp. And if you're the same way or you don't like them around your home, let me tell you how you can get them to lessen or not see them at all. Just to explain what I did, I just took a brown paper bag that you would like pack a lunch in, and then I grabbed like Walmart sacks, Target, Hobby Lobby, whatever, and you cram it full, and then you kind of soften the edges so it looks round, and then you tie a string from it. It can be whatever string you like. This is just to dangle it, but basically this resembles a hornet's nest and it keeps wasps away. So you're gonna put this anywhere you have issues with wasps. So if you already know where they come, hang this up before they even make a home there. If you've lived in your house for a while, or if you're there, go ahead and get this hung too. Just be careful and it will make them slowly move away. And then you will have less to a little to none um, wasps hanging around your house. So I'm going to give this to Chase and let him hang it up outside because I know where they've been coming. I've been laying out there getting some sun and I know right where they're going. I'm going to have Chase hang it from the gutter. You can't see them right now, but they're going like in between the crack of like the wood and the house. And then it can kind of just blend in with the wood. So it's not like a huge eyesore, but I much rather have to look at this than have wasps like flying around me. <laughs> so we've done this for quite a few years, haven't we? Yeah. We've, really we've done it at every house. We do it every summer. Now, if you have a really bad like rainstorm, you may have to redo it, but for the most part, they'll last all summer until you cut them down like closer to the fall and winter when you feel like you're safe again. So and now that we've covered the wasp solution, the other issue that's really bad in Oklahoma are flies. And if you have any company over and you're coming like inside and outside, they all come inside. You can't sleep because like they're all over your hair and face. And so this is a trick I learned from my grandpa. So I'm gonna show you what we do to help with the flies. For 
this fly hack, all you're gonna need is like a little Ziploc bag, a penny and some water. I will say I did some research because this is actually something that my grandpa talked to me about to always do. They always had them around their house. But I did read that the clearer the water, the better. So if you have like well water or something like that, be sure to use like a bottle of water or filtered water, the clearer, the better. And I guess it just helps um, something with their eyes. They see so many different things. It like reflects in their eyes and makes them go on. So these are really good to put if you're gonna be eating or right by your door. So I try to put it right by our back door. You can push pin it up, you can hang it. Um, I also read that you could do like a clear glass and put a penny in it um, with water if you're just gonna be eating outside. So you can try that as well, I never have. But this is so easy to do. And if it helps even keep one or two flies out, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I typically hang this, but I have this little hook here because I always keep a towel when it's super rainy to wipe the boy's paws off. So I'm just gonna try this here and see if it works because this is right where we open and close the door. I'll let you guys know. I have always hung it and it seems to work, so I'm curious if I have it lower, if it'll help or not. Since we're already out here, I'm gonna stay and I wanna talk about um, a little bath for your feet. So if you have a pool, I don't care if it's above ground or in ground, um, kids running back and forth in the grass and dirt can get the pool dirty or your patio really dirty. So at the last house, we bought just a Dollar Tree bucket and we would fill it with water and then the kids could clean their feet off before they got in the pool. And then I had one right off the patio. So when they stepped up to the patio, they could clean their feet as well and it saved so much cleaning I will say we went super fancy this year and found this one at Walmart and it actually hooks to the ladder um, just a few tips with that if you'll use pool water it'll keep it from turning green and algae if you just want to like dump it in there um, we have been just using like hose water and it will get dirty like this but if you'll just dump it out and put it in the Sun it like dries it and bleaches it out but like I said if you'll just dip it into the pool water it seems to stay cleaner longer and then you don't have grass and dirt all in your pool or like all over your concrete which I do anyways because of my fur babies. <laughs> talk about bugs just a little bit more. I know we've talked about wasps, we talked about flies, but now let's talk about mosquitoes because I feel like I get asked about that all the time, especially over on Instagram because I'll post pictures or stories of being outside and you guys are so curious how we keep the mosquitoes away. And I will say it's a few different hacks, but now let me share them with you so you can know what I'm doing here in Oklahoma because they are everywhere and they love, love, love to bite me. First thing we're gonna talk about is bug spray because I feel like this is the best way. If you don't want them to bite you, bug spray is the way to go. I know a lot of us don't like them because they have a horrible smell or they make you like greasy and oily and shiny, but there's really good products on the market that are dry. So this one even says um, powder dry formula. It's family care, it's smooth, it smells good. I've used this year after year. It works just as well, but you don't feel like you have a scent everywhere you go. So I love this one. Recently, I walked into Target and I got this on clearance for $1.34. So I bought like all four or five of them. It's the same thing. This is unscented. You won't get bit by any mosquitoes. It's not oily, it's not wet. It's just gonna be that powdered finish. Then you don't even have to worry about the mosquitoes getting you. 
Okay, so I understand that not everybody loves bug spray, so I have hacks for you too. The first one is dryer sheets. So supposedly these work really well. All you have to do is stick them like in your pockets of your pants, lay them around. If it was me, I definitely use multiple. So I would put one in each pocket if you have like a blanket nearby. Supposedly these are really good. It's easy to do. You don't have to put anything on your body. You can choose whatever smell you like. If there's some like toxic, non-toxic, chemical free, whatever it is, try that out and see if it works for you. Another thing you can also try is actually to have your yard sprayed to prevent them. So it can get costly if you wanna have your bug guy do it or your lawn guy, but Sunday also offers a solution too. So you just hook this up to your water hose and you spray your yard. So if you know you're having a cookout or a party or you're gonna be out there, maybe it's the 4th of July, you can definitely just hook it up, spray it yourself, and then everybody benefits from it. So while you're out there, no one getting bit by mosquitoes. This isn't sponsored, but I do work with Sunday. So I'm going to leave my link down below for you in the description box. And it does say if you're going to use this, you apply it about every two weeks, just in case you're wondering on how long it would last and how often you need to spray it. I also have one other tip. We got these tiki torches and the fluid you put inside, you can get um, a mosquito repellent just like anything else. So when we're gonna be out here and we don't wanna get bit, we just come and light all of these, especially if we're gonna be sitting here, it seems to really help. So if you want a solution like this, plus it adds a really cool like lighting and feeling just because when it's super dark out here, this is all lit up. So I feel like that's another easy solution that you can do to keep those pesty little mosquitoes away. Okay, so just in case you do all of that and a mosquito still makes it through and bites you or a friend or a child, um, I've heard you can put toothpaste on it. So it's supposed to help with the pain and the itch. So all you'll do is squeeze out a little bit of toothpaste. I squeezed out a lot apply it to the area and just kind of let it dry on there and then you won't be scratching it making yourself bleed for the rest of the night because i do that a lot <laughs> so toothpaste is going to be my best friend from now on so in the summertime a lot of swimming is happening and i feel like it's happening throughout the entire day and we went summers where savannah would wash her hair every time she got out of the pool and it got to be so much on her, her laundry just time and so i follow a lady over on instagram and she shared this tip for this leave-in conditioner i'm going to leave the link down below in my description box along with anything else i'm talking about if you want to check out those links just look down below but this has been my best friend and savannah's best friend this summer anytime she gets out of the pool and we still have the rest of the day so maybe she's getting back in maybe she's just getting out to run an errand with me or for lunch we spray this in and it makes your hair feel like it's washed it's clean she can comb through it so if you're going to be at the beach or the lake and you just don't want your hair to like dry and get crispy but you're not ready to wash it for whatever reason definitely try this out <laughs> there's been multiple days Savannah just even goes to bed I know it's not like perfect for your hair but if she's swimming one evening late and know she's going to be swimming the next morning this has been so so helpful it is absolutely amazing so definitely add this to cart if you have kids or you swim or you have a pool even for guests it's just been a huge hit in my household I feel like for the summer, everyone needs a speaker. I love this one just because it like twists and it's two speakers. I can keep one by me laying out. Savannah can have one in the pool. So I feel like those are really, really helpful to have, but say you don't have one, maybe it's not in your budget, maybe your battery died, just in case you guys need to know, you can grab a glass and then put your phone in where the speaker's in the bottom and it will help make it seem louder than it actually is. And you can do this with multiple phones, you can do this if you're taking a shower, if you're going to be inside, but I thought I'd share that little tip with you just in case you need your speaker to be a little bit louder and you don't have a speaker to like connect to. 
Now let's talk about some indoor hacks that can really help with like your AC bill or keeping your house cooler. And two of those are in your bedrooms. So curtains are huge. Even in my guest bedroom, I switch out the curtains in the summer because it's so hot in there the sun shines directly into it so i add like blackout dark curtains that way guests can sleep in the room stays cooler the ac is not running all day then once winter hits i put up the pretty white like see-through curtains but definitely in the summer i switch them out so it's okay to have different looks for different seasons especially if it's gonna help any of your bills. Um, another thing you can do is think about sheets and bedding in those. I switch mine out. So in the winter, we add warmer sheets so we don't have to run our heat as much, but I definitely don't wanna leave those on in the summertime. So in the summer, you want silk, you want cooler ones, maybe add a different comforter. It's not as heavy, just put like a blanket on there. So definitely think about those things because it's really gonna help you to sleep better and it's gonna keep the rooms cooler, which is what every Everybody wants. Another tip is to add a fan. So at night is when you're probably gonna get the hottest. And so if you have a fan blowing on you, you can actually keep your air bill from not getting as crazy. Cause if you feel air blowing on you, you just sleep better. You sleep better when it's cooler, you're gonna sleep longer and better. So I just picked this up from Home Goods. I can put it on high, I can use it in my bedroom. I have it here in our guest bedroom cause we've had so many guests lately. And then I know they're not staying up like hot and sweaty and it's just right up on them so even if you have a ceiling fan it feels good but if you can just get a loud fan that blows on your guest it's going to keep them nice and cool also just keeping your house dark by closing all of your blinds and shades pulling curtains it's going to keep your house cooler if you can't stand that i know my mother cannot stay in a dark house just close the side of the house that like the direct sunlight's coming in. So in the morning, I could close down my living room and then by afternoon and evening, I can open that side up, but then close the front of my house off. Or if you wanna keep all of it dark, there's something about coming home to like a dark, cold house that I love. But seriously, just by closing all of those blinds and keeping that direct sunlight out, it's going to keep your house so, so, so much cooler. Now we're gonna head back outside, but we're gonna talk about things that will help you with your car. So let's talk about summer car hacks now. So we all know cars get so hot in the summer. It's been super hot here. I've had a packed car. My sister was in town with my nieces. This has three rows, every seat was full. And once we were in there and it was a hot day, we figured out the back row did not cool off well. Um, my nieces and daughter was back there. And so I found a really cool gadget off Amazon. And let me share it with you because if you have kids in the back seat or even in car, car seats. I feel like this is going to be so helpful for you. I do have air vents right here in the middle row, but what's really hard is when there's like three adults sitting right here, even kids, we were getting all the air, but this back row wasn't. So let me show you what I found because it has been a game changer for us this week. I'm coming in from like the back of my car just because it's easier to film, just so you know. But I found these like cup holder fans. Now you can find some that are battery powered, but for me, those are gonna just get left on. You're gonna be constant replacing them. 
them. If they get left on and they die, that's gonna be the one time you need them and they aren't charged. So I found these that just plug into a USB and my car, and it's not even a new car, it's an older car, um, has like plugins for those. So if you have that, it's a really good option. If not, they have long cords, so they might reach to the front and they are adjustable. So you just spin this and it gets wider and wider until it fits in your cup holder. And then they're super bendy and adjustable. This thing bends, you face it, and then there's like all different settings. So it says high, medium, low, and you just turn it on. Can you hear it? And the girls would put it on them and we had no more complaints. They stayed cool, we stayed cool in the middle row, and then obviously the driver and passenger did. But I just found those super helpful. There's only two seats here um, and both of these were great, but if you had a middle one, I still think it would keep them cool. But seriously, I'm just leaving these back here so anytime someone's in my car, they have their own air and they don't have to worry about getting hot and then you can just hit it to turn it off. What I will say is if you turn the car off, it automatically turns it off for you, and then when you go to start your car, you do have to turn them back on, but I like that, just in case you're like dropping a kid off and they forget to turn it off, as soon as you turn off your engine, it's gonna turn it off for you. Okay, so my next car hack is to keep the front of your car shaded as best you can. There's two ways to do that. If you can find shade in a parking lot, take it. Even if you have to walk a little bit further, if you're able to do it, your car's gonna stay so much cooler. It's gonna be easier to cool off. You're not getting into a really hot car and getting sweaty. Now my next tip is if you don't have shade, have a really good sun visor. I recently talked about this in the Amazon video and I'm still loving it. I use this every single day. So most visors you have to like spin and like fold and put away. This acts just like an umbrella. So all I'm gonna do is push it up just like so. You put it in your windshield and then you just close your visors. So it is so much easier to put up and take down than the big old like windy shades. So this makes a really good gift, but it's a really good gift for yourself too. Another tip is if you have like um, sunroofs, close those off. Do not let that heat get in. Anytime the sun's shining in, it's just going to heat everything up. I wanted to show you just up close that you could see this and I will have this link down below, but it just sets up there. And now I'll show you how I take it down. Okay, so I have one more hack for you and this is a summer mom hack. I learned this from an old neighbor and I just always thought it was really smart. She had a lot of kids and so every time she would hear the ice cream truck man come through, she just knew it was dollar signs. So if you're in that same place, maybe you have a lot of kids, maybe you're on a tight budget, maybe you want your kids to have a healthier option. Basically, she would buy a special treat and put it in her freezer and the kids could only get it when they heard the ice cream truck so it was a still a special treat when they heard that music it still created a special memory they just knew they could run in the kitchen without asking and grab that one thing that was special with the ice cream truck man so I thought that was really cool um, just in case you guys had never thought about it I thought I'd share it um, so that was my final summer home hack Okay guys, that is a wrap. I hope you enjoyed these. I hope you learned something new. Definitely comment down below your favorite hack that you learned today. And also leave me a comment if there's a hack you have that helps you share it with me, share it with everybody else reading the comments because it can help us all out so much and I can even share it in a future video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Like, subscribe, click the links down below so I make it